three months, I'd woken up with the perfect excuse not to prospect. I had a big customer. I had a big account that I'd take care of. So it was really easy. So there I sat, staring at that phone, looking uphill. It was awful. But I picked up the phone, and I started dialing. And it was tough at first, you know, especially when you're a victim and you, you, you can't see any, any, like, any light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm sure everybody's been there at one point in their sales career where you, you're dialing and you're dialing and you're dialing and you're, you're sending emails and nothing's happening. And that's what I was doing. And, um, and, and what I started working on was these little blocks of time so that I could concentrate my focus in that. Because when you're, when you're depressed, <laughs> when you're resentful, when you're angry, it's really hard to like spend an entire day because that's all I had was eight hours to pick up the phone and dial. So what I did was I started breaking them into 15-minute blocks because, you know, for 15 minutes I could do anything. So I would do 15 minutes, and then I would go to the coffee machine and complain. And, and then I would do 15 minutes more. And actually what I started doing was reading a book called No Bull Selling by a guy named Hank Trizzler. And, um, and just for the record, I, I actually bought the rights to that book. It's on Amazon right now. Hank's not around anymore. It was my favorite sales book of all time. It had gone out of print, and I wanted to get it back into print. But I would, I would stop, and I would read that for a few minutes. And Hank would talk to me, and then I would make 15 more minutes of dials. And pretty soon, I got so I could do 30 minutes at a time. And pretty soon, I would do an hour at a time. I learned about time blocking. Uh, Mike Weinberg may talk about that. This is a big deal for him as well. But I learned that if I could block my time and concentrate my focus with no interruptions, nothing getting in the way, I could make a lot of calls. Today in my company, we call them power hours. A lot of people are, are shocked to hear that my sales team does about 120 dials a day, outbound dials to prospects every single day, and we accomplish that in three hours a day. We do three power hours. We also do email blocks, we do social blocks, but we block and, and focus our time. I go all over the world and I do these things called fanatical prospecting boot camps where we bring salespeople together and we actually teach them how to prospect. And what we do is we put them in a state where we say you have 30 minutes to make $25 and set two appointments. And they go do it. Three weeks ago in Atlanta, we were with a, uh, a company and the director of sales had come in and he said, we made more appointments and made more dials and one hour, two 30-minute blocks than we have done in the last 16 hours of prospecting. And the reason is something called Parkinson's Law. Anybody know what Parkinson's Law is? Yeah, Parkinson's Law describes that work tends to expand and the space that you give it. How many of you guys went to school? Raise your hands. Yep, so every one of you got an assignment at the beginning of the semester or the quarter that was supposed to be turned in at the end of the quarter. The man right up here in front is holding his head down because he's been there. And the night before it had to be turned in, you were working on it. That's Parkinson's law. Horseman's corollary is the opposite. Horseman's corollary basically says that work tends to compress into the time that's allotted for it. So what we do with prospecting with my team is we do power hours. Power hour, we turn everything off. No cat videos. No Facebook, Weinberg calls it book face, he's just learning how. No Instagram, no nothing. All we do is we take a list and we dial the list. If it's an email block, all we do is we take the list and we go down the list. Right now on my cell phone over there in the green room, there's somebody sending me the results of their blocks. Because we actually measure those and track them and we manage that process. Power hour, horseman's corollary. And by the way, when you put Horseman's Corollary, into practice in your sales day, it is transformational. It will change everything for you. Because what you begin doing is you start taking small blocks of time, concentrating your focus, and it helps you stick to your guns and not allow things to derail you.